Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. I hope you are enjoying our creative inking uh, blog hop, ready for spring. And I thought I would share this beautiful note card holder that we did at my recent spring retreat last weekend. Um, just brilliant with color, still pretty much winter here um, in Ohio, but um, the bright um, Calypso Coral just gives us that spring look. Now I have used our uh, brass clips um, to hold this note card um, holder together and I used our white note cards and different um, papers from that springtime foil that you can get free until the end of March or why supplies last during celebration. That is the paper that we used um, to make our holder and I also used those blossoming basket um, which is also a free uh, celebration item. But this video is about how I created that note card holder. So let me bring in my trimmer. Again I am using that springtime foil specialty paper. When you're using a designer series paper, um, even though the specialty paper is a little bit heavier, you need to be careful when you're scoring it. I'm starting with a piece that's nine and a half by 11, and we're going to score along that 11 inch mark, and we're going to start at the two and three quarter mark. See, I had a little scrap of paper in there, and I'm seeing I'm getting a lot of shadowing here. Um, oh, there's some better light. Um, I think maybe my lights got moved around when my stamp room was cleaned. Uh, so we scored it at two and three quarter, and then eight and a quarter, and again, that's along the 11 inch side. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna score a half inch on this side. Anytime I have a small measurement, I like to do it on this side of the trimmer, flipping my um, designer series paper over and we're gonna score at the four and three quarters, so we have a half inch mark, four and three quarter, then we have five, and finally we have eight and a quarter. Now along um, this side we are going to bring in a ruler and we are going to make a pencil mark. Uh, first I'm going to go ahead and burnish those score lines so we know exactly where we need to fold our paper and where I need to um, score to. Again, being careful not to tear our paper. So we've got our score lines. Now we're going to go up here at this end. I'm going to grab a pencil and we are going to mark at two and an eighth inch. So just a pencil mark, two and an eighth, and also at seven and three quarter. And we're going to do the same on this side. Two and an eighth and seven and three quarter. Now we could put this in our trimmer, but I am finding it it's easier to just use our ruler and we're going to go to the first intersecting line with that dot and we are going to grab our bone folder and we are going to score just to that score line. And we're going to do it on all four corners. Again, you can put it in your trimmer at an angle, but because of the length of the paper, I just find it easier to do it with my bone fold. So now we need to burnish those diagonals and they just fold in. Okay, so now we're ready to Tuck them in like so. Bring this up. Oh, 
like so. And then we're simply going to take and fold over that edge like so. And then I just took, let's bring in the one I did. It, it's going to be a little bit um, rugged here. So what I did was I took a piece of the Calypso Coral, ran it through that basket weave. Um, this measures three quarters of an inch by five and a half. And then it also gives you something for your clip to hold on to. So there you have it, a creative fold making a note card pack for a spring gift. For a teacher, mother, Easter gift, so many ideas to be used with this. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.